Hi, I'm Christy with the Inklings and Yarns, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet in the round using a magic circle. So what you're going to do is instead of chaining to start your circle, you're just going to make a little loop. You want the ball end of the yarn to be at the front of the loop, like this, and the tail to be in the back. And you're just going to hold where they crisscross with your thumb and your middle finger, and then drape the ball end over your index finger. Just kind of hold it in place back there with your ring finger. Now you're going to take your crochet hook and put it in through the front of your circle and cross over front of the yarn on your finger, pull up, and just pull a loop through your magic circle. And now you're going to chain, and I chain three because I'm going to use double crochets on my hat. And then I'm just going to start double crocheting right into this magic circle. So the reason I like this technique better than using a chain to start my circles is that with a chain, uh, it's a uniform size. You're not going to be able to shrink that chain at all once you're done. So you're going to end up with a little hole at the top of your hat or in the middle of whatever circle you're crocheting. And this way with the magic circle, you'll be able to pull the tail end of your thread and it just closes up the circle and makes that little hole disappear. So it's a nice neat top for a hat uh, or whatever else you're crocheting. Oops, didn't want to do that. There. So once I have several several stitches, probably about eight there on my on my round. I'm just going to take this tail end and start pulling and you'll see it just starts to close up this circle. And the final number of stitches that you're going to end up with really depends on a few things. The uh, biggest factors are going to be the thickness of your thread and the size of your needle, uh, but then also you'll want to take into consideration how large you want your final product to be. So if you need to make a larger hat, maybe for an adult or a, a toddler, um, you're going to want to start with more stitches on this round. If you are making a hat for a newborn, you want to start with fewer stitches because of course the more stitches you have, the more you're increasing by each row and it'll make your final product bigger. So now I've got a nice tight circle here and I'm just going to go into the first stitch in my row and join it to the last stitch with a little slip stitch. And that's it. That is the first row with my magic circle and you can see I can just yank on this tail and that center circle is nearly invisible. So it's perfect. Um, I'll do a few more rows to get my hat and then next week I will show you how to do the ruffle uh, like the one on the hat in my blog today. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.